So I'm in the tropics again. Yeah, so that's what we're dealing with here. <laughs> There's this nice little rainforest trail that leads down to this area. This is the beach we grew up on and there were always like legends and myths about these haunted toilets. They're like abandoned, they're not used anymore and they look so creepy. There she is. So there they are. So they were the haunted toilets that apparently Bloody Mary lived in and or some other thing that was gonna kill you if you went in there. They're all overridden by like the rainforest and they are so creepy, especially at night when you come here. We used to come down here like literally every single night on uni holidays. And of all the nights we came down here, we only ever went to those toilets once and we didn't even make it all the way up. So that's my story. I'll see you in Port Douglas. back in Brisbane now unfortunately I was unpacking my suitcase and I just got into this like cleaning mood I have a bunch of these folders with just like shit in them mechanic receipts like old bills tenant things leases just crap so much crap I cleaned all of it out refiled everything that was actually important I ripped all of it up because it's a lot of personal info and because I'm a paranoid person I'm gonna go burn it now too <laughs> I've dragged my housemate Henry into this so let's see how it goes could I just not burn it in the backyard no Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's fucking hot. I mean, look, this is controlled, right? Yeah, this is a controlled fire. Wow, we actually did such a good job at this. Oh, fuck. That, I, <laughs> that was fucking hot. Did you touch that? Yeah, it's hot. No, that's how fires start. No, that, that's, that's bad. That's bad. Let's get that water. <laughs> what happened, though? Whoa! How cool, oh, how cool is that? That's so sick. You reckon we should put it there? Alright, should we just... Just chuck it, yeah. I got nervous and dropped it. Dude, we could smoke meat like this. It's like walking through a landmine though. Yeah, there could be dog shits, there could be snakes. You don't know what's in this yard. I would, don't, don't touch that. Jerry, it's still be hot. It's still hot. <laughs> so it wasn't even that bad, but 100% that would have been disastrous if we didn't put it in the metal bin. If you saw my last video where my neighbors got into a literal punch up in the front yard, get him off! Get off my lunch! Then you should go do that, but they moved out. <laughs> yeah, they are literally just gone. So we're supposed to be getting like super hectic rain soon, but um, <laughs> where that rain at though? 12 seconds later. There she is. <laughs> So I've ruined another pair of pants. I mean, they're not ruined, really. I made them better. A uh, little fun fact about me, I like to get things that don't fit me always. I bought this pair of jeans. They're like ripped jeans, and I absolutely love them, but they were just one size too big. When I put them on, sometimes it looks like I've shit myself. They're just a little bit too big. Yeah, so I bought another pair of the exact same jeans. Um, they were like nearly 50% off, and I love these jeans. Like, they're my favorite jeans. I wear them all the time. Go to my Instagram they're in every photo they're literally the exact same pair of jeans one's just a size smaller and yes I'm wearing them right now why buy new clothes when you can buy the same clothes you already own so yeah that's been happening uh, and yeah I didn't want to throw them out so I was like you know what let's just fuck them up last time I was a crafty bitch I made these fire pants and this time I have done this this was like a cool screen printed patch I got off this artist in America maybe Canada. So I've sewn that on, I've painted some other stuff, and I've just 
I'm gonna go film something and show you, but I'll probably just keep adding to it. But obviously I've gotta go get a photo of it because I am a millennial. And that's what we do. We do Instagram, we ruin the fabric softener industry. We can't afford houses and we eat too much avocado. Can confirm, I literally have two bags of avocado downstairs. Anyway, so this is the progress and finished product of these jeans. So I'm leaving for VidCon in an hour. Uh, have I packed? No. Have I finished this vlog? No. Although if this is up and it's Thursday, it means that I did do it. So in a nutshell, my time management skills are 10, then 11, 30. Yeah, no, they're bad. Sometimes I wake up and my hair has done an awful comb over. But I can't do anything about it. I don't know if any of you have curly or wavy hair. But you can't brush it like once it's decided that that's where it's going. So I don't really touch my hair at all unless I'm straightening it. Because this, like these, if I brush that, all hell will break loose. Everyone's crops will die. The son of Lucifer himself will be born. And my hair will turn into a poodle thing about this big. So, so this weird comb over thing I'm kind of stuck with until I wash my hair. Which is awesome. Mm. Cold coffee. Oh, and bad coffee. So I'm sure all of you woke up this morning wanting to watch a 22 year old pack. In a relatively hurried fashion for my standards. Uh, because they can't time manage. That's why you clicked on this video. Straight up, I should have done this last night. Half of my shit is like in the- Shut up, please. Half of my shit is... Alright. I know I was wearing this jumper in, earlier in this video, but you know what? I have a washing machine. Amazing. And also, I filmed like the last segment of this segment before this segment. Clear as mud. Alright, packing list. We got... No, this is not usually this hard. I don't know what it is. Every time I'm packing or like need to maneuver around, my dog sits on my feet. Why are you doing that, bud? <laughs> Stress levels slightly increasing. Fuck, this is cooking. Okay, so we've got phone charger, laptop and charger. Sunnies, gotta bring the sunnies to Melbourne. It's probably gonna be cloudy or raining. Earphones, you would die without those. It's a good thing I don't know where they are. <laughs> Got them. Well, oh, Indy, get out of the way, please. I think she gets freaked out when I get the suitcase out because she gets, like, separation anxiety. Stress level's decreasing. We've pretty much got everything. Uh... Look, I'm probably early. <laughs> God. Couldn't even say that with a straight face. I'm definitely going to be late. So I actually have to put underwear on my list of packing things because I will forget it. I've rocked up to many a place with no underwear. I don't write it down because it seems so obvious, but then you forget. Like literally right now, for example, I, this whole time, I'm like, yep, I'm done. I'm ready. Got my shoes on, got my shirt on, got everything on except for my pants. So that is all for this video, guys. Um, I hope the footage from, actually, I know the footage from the tropics came out really nice because the rest of the vlog is already done this is being filmed like the day that you're seeing it wild if you're new here i give shout outs every single week to people who subscribe put the notification bell on and then leave a comment letting me know that they've done it i also give people shout outs on instagram who comment on my stuff a lot and like my posts and just people who are familiar faces to me and just to say thank you i also give shout outs to people who buy stuff from my clothing line riff supply co that'll be linked below you can go check that out we've got hoodies beanies tees a bunch of other stuff um Shoutouts from Riff go to Shoutouts from Lip Shoutouts from Riff go to Emily C, Georgia W, another Emily C, and Brianna W. Thank you guys so much for buying stuff from Rift. I hope you love what you bought and get a lot of wear out of it. Shoutouts from Instagram come from this post. We've got Jade Glenn, Connor Q, Bass Miss, and Amy K. Thank you for commenting on my Instagram. I appreciate it. I try to reply to all of the comments on my Instagram, like literally all of them. And last but not least, the YouTube shoutouts come from my last video where I screamed at a chicken for eight minutes. Yeah, you signed up for this shit. First up, we've got Laura Grace, Christian CM, Monkey Businesses, not one business, multiple monkey businesses, and Martha Mulliner, who's been subscribed since the Ruckus Like days. That is a long ass time. <laughs> I'm heading down to VidCon. I should have said that earlier. That's why I'm packing and need to get on a flight because I'm going to Melbourne to VidCon. I hope to see a few of you there if you're going. Um, I don't have an official meetup because I get anxious. 
though. But I'll be wandering around a lot, so if you see me, come say hey. Not ready for the cold, though. Have a great day at school or work or whatever it is that you're doing. Also, thank you for 91,000 subscribers. That really came out of nowhere. Creeping up to 100k, which is really, really cool. Maybe leave some suggestions for what I should do for a 100k video if I'm that organized at the time. Yeah, it's really awesome to see our little family growing, so thank you guys for that. Very difficult to concentrate when my dog is licking her ass in the background, so...